Today we're going to be taking two of the UK's most popular cocktails and combining them to make one drink. Here we have the Palm Star Martina. It's sweet, it's tropical, it's quintessentially British. And on the other side here we've got the Aperol Spritz, an absolute summer classic. We're going to be putting them both together to bring you the softcore spritz. And before we get into making this cocktail, let's just explain a few key details about these two cocktails, which are two of the most popular cocktails here in the UK. First of all, on your right, we have the Aperol Spritz. It's summery, it's refreshing. Any bartender who works in the UK will tell you that in summer, this drink gets ordered every day. Everyone wants one. Everyone loves one, it's easy to do, it's accessible for all. On the other hand, on your left hand side, Palm Star Martina, previously known as the Maverick Martina, created in 2002 in the townhouse bar by Douglas Ankin, consisting of passion fruit, vanilla vodka, and that unmistakable Prosecco sidecar shot. That shot that no one knows what to do with, do you pour it in? Do you use it as a palate cleanser? Who knows? Nobody knows. I had the pleasure of meeting Douglas a couple of years back now in a champagne bar here in Manchester. And I asked him, I said, Douglas, I said, Doug, what are you meant to do with this shot? Do you pour it in? Do you just drink it? And he told me it doesn't matter. It's just a bit of fun. Don't mean anything. And that's what we like here on this channel. It's just to have fun for the purpose of having fun, which this is the Palm Star Martina. It gets a bad reputation as being a really basic dream, but at the end of the day, it's just a bit of fun. None of it means anything, and the name doesn't mean anything, the shot doesn't mean anything, it's just a nice drink. And that's all that matters. Now both of these drinks, they have their pros and they have their cons. Let's look back at the Aperol Spritz. Pros, it's easy to make, it's free ingredients, super accessible, super cheap, all you can pick up from, pretty much any supermarket here in the UK. And it's easy to make, it's built in the glass, so it's put everything in the glass, bit of ice, three ingredients, you're done. But then on the side of the cons, it relies heavily on the Aperol flavour, which not everybody likes. Aperol is an Italian liqueur, a lot of people find it to be a bit bitter, a little bit too zesty. You either love it or you hate it. Moving on to the palm star over here, it's got that ease about it, it's got that palatable flavour. Passion fruit, vanilla, these are all flavours we know, these are all flavours we like. It's got a perfect amount of sweetness in there. On the con side of the palm star, you need ingredients like the passion fruit puree, the passion fruit syrup. You've got to have the coupe, the shot glasses, you need a cocktail shaker to get the air in it to emulsify it enough to get that nice foam. All these things can be difficult to do at home. They can be quite difficult to recreate for especially someone who's not used to making cocktails at home. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put those two together and what we're gonna make is the soft core spritz. This has everything you love about the Palm Star Martina, the passion fruit, the vanilla, and everything you love about making the Aperol Spritz, the ease and the accessibility. So before we get into making this, there's a few things you're gonna need. First of all, you're gonna need some passion fruit liqueur, most popular being Pessoa. Secondly, you're gonna need some Prosecco to top it up and to get that spritz going. Thirdly, you're gonna need some soda water to lengthen that drink. Optionally, you can have some vanilla syrup. This is gonna make it even more like a porn star and it's gonna add that sweetness. But if you don't want that massive hit of sweetness, you can leave this out, that doesn't matter. If you are gonna get the vanilla syrup, you can get it from most supermarkets in the coffee aisles, or you can get it online, you can get it on Amazon, or you can just make your own. That's what I do with this one. It's just sugar, water, a little bit of vanilla. It's sweet, it's beautiful. You've got more control and it's cheaper than getting out of the supermarket. But if you are going to get out of mine, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description for the best one that you can possibly get. After that, there's going to be some equipment and some more minor things you need. 
such as glassware, a wine glass works perfectly. You're gonna need some few dice to keep that drink cold. You're also gonna need a spoon for stirring the drink. It helps if you have passion fruit to garnish it. Mint works beautifully as a little summer garnish. And finally, if you wanna add a little bit of flair, sugar and a blowtorch to caramelize that passion fruit on top. So it's a sunny day outside today. I'm not gonna waste time making it here. I'm gonna soak up some sun, go outside, make it for you, show you how easy it is, show you the accessibility and talk you through how to make this. So let's go outside. Okay, here we are. So we are in my garden. It's a sunny day and we're gonna make this cocktail. So first thing you're gonna need, your wine glass, fill that with ice. And then we're gonna go in with some Pessoa. Look at that, we're gonna go in 40 milliliters of Pessoa which is about just under two shots. Next up, we're gonna go in with that vanilla syrup. Like I was saying, this is optional. You don't have to do it. I'm just gonna add a little 10 milliliter in there. Basically a spoonful, a little bit of sweetness. Why not? Then we're gonna go in with the Prosecco. Give it that Italian spritz vibe that we're going for here. And just to lengthen that up, open those flavors. We're just gonna top that with a little bit of soda water. There we go nice and easy and now we're just going to give it a little stir super simple look at this just one stir don't have to be aggressive just lightly combining those ingredients then we'll garnish it got half a passion fruit plonk that in now before i was talking about the caramel blah, the caramelization that's what we're going to do now so to do that you just get a spoon of caster sugar put that on top of the passion fruit then I'm gonna get my blowtorch and we're just gonna caramelize that, get it all smoky, get that sugar melting. It's gonna make an already sweet fruit even sweeter, which is a dream on a summer day like today. So there we go, and to finish that off, I'm just gonna to top it with some mint. Now interesting fact, this mint was grown right next to where I'm sitting, which is truly garden to glass drinking. There we go, look at that, beautiful. Finger beauty, have a little sip of this. See what I think of it. Do I like it? Do I hate it? What's it gonna be? Oh, it's a thumbs up. I love it. Look at that. And there we have it. There's the soft core spritz. Super simple, super accessible. Try it out. Let me know if you do. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to support the channel. Check out all the links. Check out the blog. And yeah, enjoy your day. Enjoy soft core spritz. Happy summer, happy drinking. Until next time, it's a bye for now.